The way I look at this work is that it's about a journey and that we're all wayfarers. The poetry of Attar tells us if you're not a seeker, then you might as well be a corpse, a listless shadow on a wall, a soulless puppet or a beast. Attar was a Sufi mystic poet. The idea behind Sufi philosophy is that we need to individually cleanse ourselves in order to have an effect on the greater society. So I believe the entire book is a manual for how to do that. I consider myself a writer, an artist, who moves through genres. I've moved from poetry to literary translation, recreation of text, to writing plays and librettos. I recreated Atar's The Conference of the Birds as a text, as a book. And I began work about three years ago with composer Fahad Siadat and choreographer, director Andre Megrutichian to tell the story with Western new operatic music and contemporary dance. Atar's The Conference of the Birds is a monumental Persian work written in 12th century. Several hundred years later, in these different artists created the manuscript that exists at the Met. It's calligraphy with miniature paintings, which was very common at the time, and it's their own interpretation of this great, important work. Every kind of recreation has been for its time. Atar meant his work to be entertaining, therefore it was recreated in an entertaining form. And now we're doing the same. The story of the Conference of the Birds is that the birds of the world gather and they want to seek their sovereign, but they don't know where. The hoopoe, this beautiful small bird with a gorgeous crown, comes forward and says, I know that there is a leader for us. The leader's name is Seamork, and it lives in Mount Gough. Searching for the great Seamork. for the great The birds get really excited, say, yes, we want to go. But then once they learn how far the journey is, they hold back. And that's the story of us, right? We want to go on a journey and when once we realize how hard it is, we come up with an excuse. So all the birds begin to come up with these excuses, but the wise hoopoe answers them through parables. Finally, the birds are convinced and they said, okay, we will go. And the hoopoe offers parables and Attar offers wisdom until the birds reach the great court of Simor. 30 birds had survived and arrived there. As they see the face of Simor in reflection, they realize that it's they themselves. And Simor is a compound word. If you pull it apart, it becomes Simor, 30 birds. beautiful journey towards the divine, towards this great source. When you get there and are finally able to join it, you realize that you are one and the same. It is greater than you, and yet you're a part of it. I was born in Iran. I left at age 13. I lived in Trinidad, then I went to the UK and finished my high school there, and then I came to this country. So I've been a wanderer. And I've always been in search of home. 
and it has been a subject that I've been writing about over and over and over. Home is a missing tooth. The tongue reaches for hardness, but falls into absence. And that has always been the story of my life until I found Atar. And then Atar taught me that home was within me, that home was the journey that I was on. When you recreate a work, you enter the work, you breathe it, you live it. And through that, my entire being changed. It was a call to renew. It was a call to shed light in a world that was ever darkening. I write because I believe literature can save the world. It shows us how to save ourselves. So I write to save myself. And in saving myself through work like the Conference of the Birds, I share this prescription.